Hello guys and welcome to episode 50 of my Medieval 2 Total War campaign playing as England on very hard difficulty. Today uh, we are going to be continuing on, our war sire. with Russia. We previously there defeated we an ambush. Born, like we're going to be able to kill off this of minor army though. However, that doesn't really matter since we have an, an attack order. on Stockholm uh, that we can take part in. We have built ladders born, and rams. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and assault this on the battle map. So it's against Prince Hakon. He is the faction heir of Denmark. He is 61 years old. He has a ton of traits. His army like many crossbow militia. That's going to be very painful running towards those walls. There's also going to be quite a few town militia with upgraded armor. Shouldn't be too difficult as long as I'm smart about how I get up these walls. Let's go ahead and fight this on the battle map. Be no escaping us now. I think I might play Attack. this a little less conventionally than I usually do. Um, because if I allow all my men to go up on the walls in the same places, then there's a very real opportunity that the towers will take us apart and the crossbow militia as well. So I might spread out the ladders and so on so that I can maybe open some gates somewhere else and basically get into the settlement and force them away from the walls as soon as possible. So let's bring some ladders like over here. We will set up like basically three different attack forces, I think. Uh, let's, yeah, have a couple here. That is fine. That's going to be dismounted few tonight, semester of crossbowmen. I am absolutely fine with that. We'll make sure they're spread out so they don't climb the same wall. That's okay. Actually, let's do these two walls rather than the gatehouse because there's two out, two towers on the gatehouse. So that will avoid us taking more damage than we need to. Um, over here, we can have the... Ram, which I do not want to be manned by the Feudal Knights, will give it to the Levy Spearmen. And those Levy Spearmen can open the gate for us. That is fine. Uh, then we'll have two ladders over on this side. Okay. And the other, the last ladder can sort of assist in the middle here. I'm probably going to put them off to one side here. That is fine. Okay. So now we need to like split up our forces, like our cavalry a little bit. So we'll put some cavalry there. We'll keep some cavalry here. That'll just be my like my general and like these guys. And then whichever ones I haven't put over here, which I think is these feudal knights, can go over here. Okay. And what have we got left? Some spearmen. We'll chuck those over there. I'll chuck a couple of yeomen over there. Another crossbowmen. That's fine. And a couple yeomen over there. Good. So this is going to be like group one. Group two. And then we have group three. Cool. Uh, let's start the battle. Oh wow, they've actually spread out themselves. Hmm. It's not good. That's not what I expected. I kind of expected them to all stay in the same place. At least the towers aren't in range. Um, this gives me time to think about it. Not many units on the walls here. I guess that's because the ladders aren't there. I might have inadvertently made them a bit stronger by deploying like this. Of what I can do is I think I'll grab these two and we'll go and we'll move down this way. Yeah, we'll move down this way and we'll climb up the walls further down. I will force them to move. What about over here? I think we can probably do the same thing. Move the ladders down. Yeah, and I'll focus on basically 
making them move away from the main gate so that I can hit it down with a battering ram. Let's try that. We'll speed things up so that my ladders move and get into different positions. And with that being the case, yeah, we can climb the walls over here unimpeded. I'm also going to have to move some dudes over as well. So let's get my army to move over. Oh, they've actually run all the way over here, haven't they? Ah, damn it. Smart AI is smart. And this is still Dismounted Feudal Knights versus Huskals, so we should win. And this is Armoured Swordsman as well. If they get onto this wall, they'll get the tower going on the side, which is not what I want. The ladders are now in place. Hmm. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. Okay, let's start bashing down this gate. How are we doing here? We didn't take too much damage getting the guys to the walls, so that's good. And these crossbow militia, <clears throat> they are no match for my dismounted feudal knights. I'll tell you that much. So they should get slaughtered. Uh, the huskals, though, maybe not. The battle is very much uh, in let's our favor. Have a look over if here we again. Remain true and steadfast. Victory will be ours. I think I'm just gonna run my dudes and try and get up these walls over here. Well, how's this going for my levy spearmen? They're controlling the gates, which is annoying. Oh, and they've actually set the ram alight. Shit. Okay. <clears throat> Time to run. Let's keep an eye on this engagement. Huskars are fine. Over here, the crossbow militia are surely going to rout soon. And if they do, I might be able to capture that gate. If I can capture the gate and get some more units inside, I think that's uh, the way that I can force them to the center. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, cool. The Armored Swordsman can hopefully just hold the line for the time being. I'm going to start moving these guys towards the gate. You can flood them in. And with that distraction in place, I think it's pretty unlikely that uh, they will hold their position at these walls. Yeah, since we have, like, dudes inside. Come on, men. Get going. The whole battle depends on it. How are these crossbowmen doing? Okay, mercenary crossbowmen are getting ruined, but that's fine. I don't really care about the mercenaries. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. The Lord is with us today. Okay, good. We've captured the enemy's walls. Oh, they managed to get some men back here, I think. They're saying that. Maybe I can still get my dudes in. That would be ideal. Move back my cavalry. I don't want them to be fired at unnecessarily. But at least I can get my archers in. Okay, good. How are we doing here? They don't even have any infantry here. What's that about? Somehow they're using these towers, even though they don't have any troops there. Quite impressive. Okay, let's uh, make sure we're turning off skirmish mode. And we can come on in. We've slaughtered a lot of these men. That's good. Let's line up and shoot these guys to death. These guys can kind of hold the line. 
good. They should be on fire at well, so I'm sure they'll just wreck them. That is fine. Alright, these walls have been abandoned, so let's get some ladders up there. This has probably been one of the most thought out sieges that I've ever had to do. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Well, we're getting the better of those town militia anyway. Uh, there is some more town militia coming, but we can charge them with our dismounted feudal knights. Lovely. Still fighting this engagement. Huskals versus Armoured Swordsmen. Uh, now we have an engagement between I was going to say between my dismounted feudal knights and their crossbow militia, but their crossbow militia are chasing my men. So I could probably just uh, kill them off at the bottom. So I'm going to get my dudes to get involved there. Uh, meanwhile, we should probably start climbing onto the walls. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Okay. Over here, we're all good. Yep, those town militia got crushed. That's fine. Uh, this is a unit of ballista there. I should probably just run them down, if I'm honest. Just run down that ballista. Oh, I have lost sound. Um, oh, I clicked the mute button. <laughs> Done that in the past, I think. Lucky I remembered. Just kill off those crossbow militia. No reason for them to be alive. Uh, meanwhile, over here, we have crushed some of their crossbowmen. And now we are engaging town militia on the walls. Okay. How are we doing over here? Oh, my armoured swordsmen eventually won out. We got there. Nice. Um, that's some catapults. Do I have any cav here? I do. Okay, let's get some... Get my feudal knights in, and we'll go and charge down those catapults. Uh, meanwhile, we'll engage those crossbow militia. We'll shoot them in the back. And the yeomans should be able to kill off this ballista quite easily. With their clubs. Look at that. It's pretty brutal. The battle is very much in our favour. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Uh, let's move these guys up to support the feudal knights. Whilst these guys continue round towards that catapult. Okay, meanwhile, over here, we're still fighting. But that does not mean I cannot get some units on the ground inside. That is the plan. Oh, these knights should probably back off from that tower shooting them to death. <laughs> and well, over here, these guys have been engaged by spear militia and are now being killed off by the towers. So they're not going to last too long. That's fine. We're making room elsewhere, especially here. It's probably worth bringing the these guys all the way around. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, let's start moving these guys up so that I can get the yeoman archers further up. Cool. We have killed off that catapult, I would assume. Yep, three men left. Anything else I need to destroy while I'm here? 
I don't think so. Yeah, this entire complex is being captured or held by this town militia unit, which is really, really bad for us. Really sucks. I didn't know that was a thing, otherwise I wouldn't have attacked that area at all. Uh, one thing I can do though, with these guys inside, is we can go and possibly capture that gate. I'm going to try and do that. But meanwhile, um, we should get these feudal knights to move up a bit more. And then we can get our yeoman archers to just shoot their general to death. Possibly. Unless he attacks us. And we captured that gate, which is good. That might allow me to get those other knights in. We should probably do that. Our men are winning the battle. And these guys... Like this, I don't want them to go in the centre the square, because I don't want them to activate the general. But I do need to get them towards that gate. And the only real way past is probably past the general. Hmm, it's kind of awkward. Unless I run all the way around, which might be worth doing. Can I even run through there though? No, I can't. Hmm. That's awkward. Okay, we'll just have to shoot him to death and then do it. Though we do have some town militia coming in behind us. That's not good. <laughs> we'll take them out if we can. Might be worth to charging them in the back with the uh, mercenary Frankish knights. I think we're doing a lot of damage with those bowmen. So we're all good. Well, can these guys not get in the gate anymore? Did they capture it back? They must have captured it back. That sucks. Oh well, we're doing a lot of damage here, as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Now, where are those yeoman archers? Open this gate, please. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yeah, I sent all these these guys all the way around, and now they can't even get through this gate. How annoying is that? I do have these guys. Oh, they can probably do it. The armored swordsman. That's fine. Is the general nearly dead? No. But what I am going to do is probably charge into these catapults. Because then we can charge in with our knights and get some more crossbowmen into position. All is well. Oh, this will have activated uh, those town militia. So let's shoot the town militia in the back. Our town militia don't have bonus versus cavalry, so we don't have to worry about that. I might actually have to pull away from this engagement though. But at least I will have stopped the catapults from firing for the time being. In theory. Uh, we're still fighting over here. Which is just absolutely crazy. Is what it is. 
Like, I can't even get into a position where I can shoot them. It's really annoying. Well. Alright, have we captured this again? Because I'd like to get all these men through. <laughs> Get rid of this group. And we'll take them out of the group as well. And then I can just grab all these lot and we can charge on through. Cavalry is not doing too well, so I might just back them off for the time being so we don't lose them. That's their king, last man standing. Or oh, actually, their heir. Their faction heir. He's the last man standing, but uh, probably not for long, as we will just volley him with. 100, 200 arrows. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Goodbye. We've sent the base cur to hell. Cool. And now we can charge into the back of the crossbow militia and spear militia. Do a bunch of damage. And hopefully finish the battle sooner than later. If I can get local superiority in the um, center, actually, I can probably finish the battle early. So we'll try and go for that. Oh, we did eventually break the units on the wall here. That's good. God for that. Let's now speed things up. My lord, our men are in command of the city. My crossbowmen actually ran again. Oh well. This should be the end of the battle. Just wait for the. The enemy remaining forces, All of and that's job done. By the My feudal knights actually cleaned up the units in the square faster than it took for them to run to the square. So that is victory, and a pretty successful one. Victory! Nothing can stop us, sire. Victory! So we'll go ahead and sack These Stockholm. Now kneel before us, my lord. Prepare the fairground here, and we'll get ourselves a church. There's not much in the way of public order buildings, so we are going to have to deal with that. But first things first, click the M button, merge all those units. Lovely stuff. Uh, let's upgrade some of these with better armor. I suppose that's what we're retraining for. Um, and then I will probably go about grabbing some town militia and so on. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. Uh, we could probably get rid of these guys. My lord. We'll just get rid of them. It's fine. Opens up some spots for the town militia to be built. A trait increase, plus two dread, plus two command, army routes. Fleet ready, sire. So, what can we do in the meantime with this navy? I mean, the navy's yes, been doing pretty well. Let's head up here, see what's up. A fine day to oh, another Danish I only respect strength. army. Something oh, I didn't realize they owned this land. We're going to have to go deal with that. I thought Oslo would wipe them out when we take this king. element. As you come on, well, this one would, should be quite a lot easier than the last. Oh, never mind. They have three units of dismounted feudal knights. What do we have? We've got ladders and battering rams. We should be fine. Should be. Let's Must jump in and fight this on the battle map. We march into battle. It's still two more settlements, but I am surprised that they had another settlement. I did not know that one was there. Helsinki. Right, we will start the deployment. That is fine. We have two walls to get through, I think. Yeah. 
I think the best way to do this is similar to the way I did the last one. Like split up the ladders so that we can get up two sets of walls, overwhelm them. Uh, let's give the ram to the levy spearmen. We'll have them attack this wall. I'll have... Let's just have Feudal Knights go over the side. That is fine. And then we'll have a few units climb up this wall or near this gate. And we'll try and capture that. We'll keep a couple of yeoman archers here. We'll have one at the main gate. Okay, that is fine. They have split up their forces. But I feel like if I send up a couple units on this side and one on the left side, I should be able to get behind, open the gates and run into the center, which is kind of what I'm hoping to do here. So my infantry is just, just a distraction. Let's push up the same wall here. Unless they're running units all the way to the other side, in which case I may as well go to the far right. Okay, that's fine. Our men have reached the walls with their ladders. Let's run up on the left side here so we don't take so much tower damage. I'm not sure really what I want to do with these guys. And maybe we'll bring them over here since that tower is now deactivated. The ladders are now in place. Cool. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. Come on, man. Chop, chop. The battering ram is in place. It'll not be long before our enemy's defenses fall. They don't actually have much defending the gate, which is probably why they're abandoning these walls. The ladders are now in place. Walls are no match for the valor and force of our arms. Tell you what, it is giving our knights a chance to actually climb up. Yeah, I think they're abandoning the walls. The battering ram has done its work. Now is the time for brave hearts and brave deeds. Like they're also abandoning the walls in general, just like completely leaving, going to the second tier. That is interesting. Okay. Uh, let's have these guys come in. I'm probably going to have to have these guys pick up the ram again, honestly. And start moving it towards the next gate. Let's get my general inside. Uh, these two, they can get inside. Uh, these lot are still fighting. Let's have these guys come off the wall. Because I want to get into a position where I can just walk in with my cavalry on this side and the archers. To be honest, we're probably going to lose these fights over time. They're not going to do too well. Bring these guys back. I should be able to directly hit these feudal knights a little bit.
Get off the walls. I do need to engage these dismounted feudal knights. If I can. Let's start getting that battering ram in. I also need to uh, start picking up some of those ladders. Actually, that's probably a good job for my archers. Oh yeah, let's go pick up some of these ladders. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Our soldiers have proved their worth today. The enemy's walls belong to us now. Capture those gates, please. These gates are ours. That's great. Oh, we could probably kill that ballista. Let's go ahead and get that before it retreats into the center. Oh, there go my feudal knights. That sucks. Yeah, not much of a surprise there. Okay, time for the yeoman archers to come through. Good. Honestly, what I might be able to do, if these guys rout, if we stop attacking them, we can follow them through the gates and just capture the gates straight away. They're going to open the gates for me? Nice if they did. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, these guys are on skirmish, aren't they? That's why they're running away. I'm just going to try and get these behind these feudal knights so that I can shoot them in the back without engaging them in melee. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Okay, it looks like that's worked on one side, but maybe not the other. Unless I just straight up disengage. The good thing is, in this position, we can just run them down with cavalry. Since we do have cavalry in position to do so. Oh, they've engaged my general with the peasants. That is fine. Let's uh, charge on in with my dismounted feudal knights. My general should just slaughter these guys. Although my general has, himself is off to one side, which isn't good. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. I need men. to get him out of that position that he was in. Right now we'll charge through. If we can. There we go. Through the gates. Captured the gates. Who needs a battering ram? We are through. Okay, that's good. We can drop those ladders. Get ourselves up onto this wall. Very much. And then we shall shoot him to death. Make sure not to let my general get engaged on the corner of the center there. This is not needed either, so let's go ahead. 
Move forwards. Um, these guys, I think I might just have them charge and kill off these guys. Good. Alright, this uh, actually hasn't been too bad. I was a little bit worried, but we came out on top in the end. We lost a couple units along the way. A couple of uh, Our men are winning the battle. dismounted feudal knights. If we knights. continue like this, we will smash the enemy. I may, I may as well just line up here and shoot them. So we'll do that. And I'm just going to speed it up so I have the archers get over here. Why are they going for my general? <laughs> That's rather rude. Hmm. <laughs> my general's kind of cornered here. If we continue like this, we Whoops. will smash the enemy. I need him to get out of there. <laughs> That's really not good. I did not expect them to do that. Oh well, <laughs> my general's alive. And I guess if they break, we will just insta-capture the settlement, so that's fine. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward and break the spirit of his army. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. All right, he's dead soon. Nearly lost my general there, because I was careless. But nice job done. Last man standing the was their general, all of and that is victory. By the victory we have won here today. Okay, I'll take that. I should be able to replenish my feudal knights anyway. Although I'm likely to just merge them and build new ones. Glorious victory is ours, sire. Let's occupy this so that we As can build new it, units sire. with These the extra population. Yours. I'm just going to merge them. And we shall retrain this guy. And I'm going to start building some peasants just to hold Oslo for us. Their relations worsened. We're down to poor with the Papal state. But I have a way to fix that, guys. Don't you worry. 38,000 in the treasury. <laughs> also, we could just kill the Pope again. But, unfortunately, it has been my time. So I am going to have to leave it here. What we're going to do in the next episode is start our journey towards Egypt with our large army I here. Let's go ahead and get that going already. A fine day to sail. And... Yeah, we will look into assassinating the Portuguese king. I might even assassinate the Pope again, just to save us some money. Even though he's an English king, but that's fine. We've got a battle against uh, the Venetians to look forward to, and I'll also be trying to take Ragusa at some point. So, yeah, plenty of stuff still to do. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.